Hey there, it's Nicole with Nesting Haven. Today I have a town-wide yard sale haul to share with you. I am going to break this up into a few videos. I'm not sure what it's going to end up being for videos, but probably I would say around four or five. And I just figured it'd be easier to do it that way so they don't run too long. So I'll go ahead and get started down here, I guess. So I got this, it's kind of neat. I guess they used it for sewing. Um, a sewing caddy so it came with a few things like some safety pins and little scissors little thimble thimble or thumble thimble <laughs> uh, and um, yeah so these all slide out like that something else in here uh, what do we got some little hooks and buttons yeah so there's a few various things inside of it um, I don't think I can open this out Without, I don't think I can do it one. Let's go up like this. Okay, so there's a few little um, pin, sewing pins, and something. Oh, yeah, so different sewing stuff, anyways. But I just thought the caddy was cool. I don't really sew. I've always wanted to learn to sew. Um, I don't know. Maybe I can keep it and. Uh, use it for that eventually, but I just thought it was a cool caddy anyways, and it was only two dollars It came with this little mini sewing kit as well. So, you know for all that for two bucks I think that was a pretty good deal. It's a little dirty. I got to clean it up, but I thought that was pretty nice I did find one more butterfly um, Butterfly gold Corel plate here this they only wanted five cents for this. So That was an easy sell for me, right? So another one to add to my collection and then I paid up a little bit for this. She wanted $3 for it. And I just plan to resell it to Maine's Estate I live in if you guys are new to my channel. And I do like it, but I actually got rid of a lot of my, actually all of my brown top stoneware. Um, I used to collect this stuff here. And I put a lot of it in my antique booth. So I'm just gonna add this in there. And I paid three for it. And I think I'm gonna ask around 12 yeah, I think probably around 12 for it. Now this here is a Monarch butterfly and wheat pattern Libby glass from the 1970s and it was only a quarter. Um, I picked this up because, you know, when you find vintage glasses, you typically only find one or some weird set of three or something. So, you know, it doesn't bother me to pick up just a single glass because eventually, you know, you'll come across them and get a complete collection of at least, you know, a pair or four or something, so. And I don't even think it's that bad to um, mix and match them anyways. You know, vintage stuff is cool like that. You can do that for sure. Now, this here, they had other um, blue, what do they call this, transferware pieces, and I, I know this is popular. I know a lot of people collect this, but the other pieces they have are just kind of like little saucers and teacups and I don't know, I thought they was kind of a little more plain. This one had really nice, nice uh, graphics on it, so I thought these would be, be a good seller for me. They asked, let's see, 50 cents for this and 25 cents for the little bowl. This one here is, let's see, Royal Art Made in Staffordshire, England. Um, dishwasher microwave safe, so let's see. It looks older, but microwave came out in what, 1940? the late 40s it was invented I think and then I think most people had them by the 70s so yeah I'd say it's you know obviously no probably no later than the 70s that came out and this one here I really like the graphics on that the pretty flower detailing on the outside these are really gorgeous I just don't um, collect this kind of stuff but I do appreciate um, the look of it this is a Liberty Blue Historic col colon colony colonial scenes and then Betsy Ross made in England. So this one actually might be Fairly old. I haven't looked these up yet, but I thought those are really nice anyways and Once I know the value of them. I will um, go ahead and resell those and I picked I picked up these little vintage planters every once in a while I thought this one was really cute. They had some other ones there, but this was the only one that really, you know, stood out to me. So I did go ahead and grab it, and they asked a dollar for it. I gotta clean it up. I do plan to 
do I plan to resell this one? I do have some that I was, you know, saving and I plan to resell, but I kind of like this guy. It's kind of cute. Kind of has that kitschy look to him. I may hang on to him. We'll see. We'll see on that one. That one's really cute. Now, I thought these were adorable. I paid 50 cents a piece for them. Um, yeah, so it's a little squirrel with his little acorn and a mouse with his cheese, sleeping on his cheese, you know, keeping guard, making sure no one's going to steal it, even though I'm sure he stole it. <laughs> I don't know the make of these. It looks like maybe someone might have even made them themselves and just got this really fun tile and glued it on here. It has an like older style clasp, so I would guess these are from around the 70s, um, but those are super fun. I like those. And then I picked up some books for my kids. Uh, I paid a dollar for the set of them. I had asked Derek, she had nothing priced. All the stuff was from the same yard sale. All, um, none of the stuff was priced and I asked her how much. She's like, oh, a dollar for all of them. And I was like, oh, a dollar for all of them. And she's like, oh, or five cents a piece, whatever. I was like really confused because five, 10, 15, 20, 11, a quarter for, you know, so I, was, I just gave her a dollar anyways because I thought I was getting fair enough deals on everything else, but I love the Berenstein Bear um, books. I think they have really good messages um, and lessons in that, so I've been picking those up when I can. This one is Give Thanks. Um, what is the year on these? I'm curious. Do, 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 do. Some scripture in it. That's, that's nice. So this one's from 2009, so that's not that old. I didn't know they still made these that um i remember them from when i was a kid so apparently they're still making bear and bears and this one here is in the bad dreams so um my oldest is really into halloween lately just this last couple of weeks he's like obsessed he watches these kid halloween shows on youtube with the little halloween songs and he just thinks it's the coolest thing ever um he's been getting into scooby-doo and stuff i really like scooby-doo as a kid too the little you get to solve the mysteries and he just likes thinks it's fun to scare people and stuff so he's only three and i don't know i'm sure he'll enjoy this book so um this one is from 1988 so this is probably more from you know my childhood there because i'm an 80s kid so yeah i didn't know they still made them <laughs> that's kind of interesting um this wasn't one i was going to pick up but since she was giving them you know as a lot basically i just grabbed it froggy goes to camp I don't know anything about this. I don't know if it's a good book. If you guys have read it, let me know <laughs> if it's good or not. This is from what year? So hard to read this little writing. 2008, so about 10 years old there. This one was funny because I was just reading the other day. I planned to homeschool my kids and I was kind of looking up, um, you know, what my, my oldest is three. So, you know, I'll be a little more learning focused um, you know, next year and I wanted to see what was you know people typically do in preschool for um, you know the things they like to teach and stuff and this was one of the books they recommended that they usually read to uh, preschoolers so I just happened to see it and it just made me laugh because I literally just read it, um, that article the day before so I picked that one up we didn't have that and then they had this one here rainforest um, yeah, this one seemed pretty interesting. I really like the images in it, with all the animals and stuff. So I think that would be fun. I don't think that was a bad deal for a dollar for all those. And I guess I'll just do this first. I got these little water shoes in a size four for my one year old. Um, it's not quite uh, fall yet here. It, it's getting cooler at night and in the morning, but the days are still kind of warm and hot so um on the weekends we're still trying to make it down to the ocean and the lakes and stuff down the camp and whatever so um he didn't have any water shoes and he kind of just has been walking for about about two months now but um yeah I thought he might enjoy actually maybe standing and walking into the water more usually we just hold on to him so I got him those I was they're in really good shape and I was happy to find those um 50 cents for that and then this is a 24 month so this will be for my youngest in maybe late winter early spring i don't know he turns two into july so we'll see if it really goes coincides with the seasons or not um 
I have a hard time with that living in four seasons you know finding the right size clothing for the you know and when the kids are growing you don't know how fast they're gonna grow my oldest grew like crazy fast and my youngest is going a little bit slower but he could catch up and just um, have a huge growth spurt so I never know uh, that was a dollar and then this Carhartt hoodie is 18 months so this will fit him this fall winter and this they wanted two dollars for this because it was a you know more popular name brands in good shape and I'm sure you know once he's done with it I can make my two bucks back on it and um, resell that <laughs> so no loss really and then the last thing I got in this haul is this really neat how to draw superheroes and super villains book I thought this was so fun I'll probably put this away for you know a couple years for my oldest um, to be able to really be able to get the concept of how to use this. It's a little torn up. Someone tore some stuff out of it. I didn't notice that, but still, it was only 50 cents, so I think it's a pretty cool um, book, and if he gets into drawing and stuff, I think he'll appreciate this, and it'll teach him anyways, so yeah, I thought that was a really fun find. I'll just add that to kind of the this unschooling, homeschooling section of stuff I'm trying to push off to the side and keep for when we need it. So that is going to do it for the first part of my haul. Like I said, be sure to subscribe so you can come back and see the second haul. And please give this video a like if you enjoyed this, and we'll catch you next time, guys.